we the youth always see the police as our enemies and not our friends because on so many instances you will carry your cases to the police at the tail end you will be the one that will become the suspect the police came and made some arrest of some of the miscreants here those that were not arrested they went to the outpost there to vent out their anger and in the process they demolished the outpost for every sign of radicalization i think women are the first to notice it we set up the dialogue with the women facilitating it first it was just the women and the police you know and then as issues began to come up there was this need to involve other stakeholders. But we discovered that what we are doing, we are promoting anarchy in the community. So we joined hands together with the leadership of the community and the youth part, together with the police and women, and make this place a better place. And the youth, they are so the need to now even rebuild a police station. I wanted to find answers to help in the de-radicalization process or recruitment process, but I didn't know where to start or where to look for. We all came together and decided we need to form Sisters Without Borders, which is now a network that uh, is slowly growing and is advocating for prevention of violent extremism gave us that space where women could can actually talk about these issues. This network is built with women who are influential in the community and they're strong. We have been welcomed by the different government authorities to have our voices be included in some of the policy making that is happening. Sisters Without Borders have shown innovative ways of not only engaging but also prompting dialogue, thereby bringing to the fore some issues that are usually said in whispers. Well, engaging with Sisters Without Borders, we've really been able to improve on trust between the security and the communities. There was a, an attack that was planned and we got an, an intel from the community. So we brought uh, the information to the the county security committee. So we managed to stop that. Sisters Without Borders, for now and in the future, are partners we are depending on. When women have the opportunity, they too can contribute to preventing violence extremism in the community.